Okay, so it's 7 p.m. and we are here at the at the emergency vet hospital to pick up our poor sweet little Bella who has been here for three days now. Um, I'm gonna go in and get her and I will tell you the story of what happened. Hi guys, so it's the next morning and I thought I would give you the little story on poor Bella here. Um, she's doing really well, by the way. She's currently just waiting for her food. She has to wait half hour um, after she takes a certain medication to uh, eat her food. Come here, Bella. Come here, baby. But, as you can see, She's uh, definitely feeling pretty good. Anyway, um, this whole thing, as she's trying to eat stuff off the table. So this whole thing started about a week ago. She started acting kind of lethargic and she is a bulldog, but she is definitely not a lethargic bulldog. She's very, very active. Um, and so after that, she started vomiting and that went on for about 24 hours and we took her to the vet. They checked her out, said she could have just got into something, um, but also said it could be a blockage. So they gave her an anti-nausea medication and a couple different other things that they sent home with us. And um, before that, they did give us the option to do an x-ray at that point, but they didn't really think it was a blockage at that point. So we decided to just take her home and kind of give her the stuff that they sent with us and see how she did with that. Um, she did really, really well for about a day and a half, and then she went right back to vomiting. So um, at that point, we waited, I think, about three days total after the first vet, vet visit because she had done so well the first day and a half or so. So when she started... Um, vomiting again on the regular we took her back into the vet they did x-rays and she had a very bloated stomach that looked like it was very very full of liquid and whatever else but um and right below where the stomach empties into the intestine it looked like there might have been a blockage there so they suggested surgery. Um, we said, yeah, okay. Um, but then they said they weren't able to do it at that time. So they, cause it was Saturday. So they sent us to the emergency veterinary hospital on Saturday morning. We took her there, admitted her and she spent the next three days basically there. Um, the first two days, they were doing all kinds of testing, trying to rule out a blockage, um, giving her all kinds of intravenous fluids, trying to see if that would flush something out, if there was something in there. Um, so after a million x-rays and ultrasounds and whatever else they did to her over about a two-day period, they finally decided they needed to go do exploratory surgery and see. So they did. And I will show you what they found. Now, uh, this is kind of disgusting. It did come out of her, out of her intestines. So, um, and I'm showing it to you just like it was shown to me. So, so this little thing is what about killed poor Bella. Um, if it had been left in there much longer, it probably would have killed her. Um, and she absolutely did, did require the surgery to get this removed. Um, so what you're looking at here is probably the most expensive pencil holder you will ever see in your entire life. Um, 
I'm not going to go into exactly how much all this costs, but let's just say between the vet and the three days at the hospital and the surgery, it definitely was not cheap. So um, I just wanted to do this video to kind of, you know, serve as a reminder to us um, what happened to poor Bella over here. And also to kind of serve as a warning to anybody else who has a dog like little Bella over here who will eat anything and everything that she comes in contact, as is evident by that thing right there. I don't know what in the world she thought that, I don't know why in the world she thought that was a good idea. This can kind of serve as a warning to anybody that has a dog like her that that kind of thing can definitely happen if you're not super, super diligent about keeping your uh, stuff picked up out of their reach. Um, I, I try to be really good about that, but I do have two kids and stuff does get left out and most of the time she will find it. So, um, after this little experience, I'm going to be a whole lot more diligent about keeping her away from absolutely everything. And, um, also gonna, also gonna make sure the kids are a lot more helpful with keeping their stuff out of her reach because she is a little land shark and she will eat anything she comes into contact won't you bella anyway that is bella's little story over the last week um and like i said she's doing pretty good now i've actually had to cut her pain medication down because she feels so good. And a lot of that just has to do with the fact that she's a bulldog and bulldogs have really, really high pain tolerance. And, uh, if you give them pain pills, they are feeling good and they will absolutely overdo it. Uh, same type of thing happened with my last bulldog when he had knee surgery. I had to cut his medication. I had to cut his pain meds way down because he just, thought he was unstoppable and would have uh, tore out all his stitches. So anyway, she's, she's doing great so far. Hopefully it keeps up that way and we don't have to take her back. Um, but anyway, I thank you for watching. Send Bella your well wishes and I will see you on the next one. Okay, and here is a shot of her surgical site. It is pretty darn big. So, anyway, just thought I would show you that, too. Say bye, Bella. Bye, bye. Bella.